What's up guys, Tommy Marshall here, your lazy agent. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you five powerful hacks that you had no idea even existed on how to automate your Chime CRM. And you definitely don't wanna miss the last hack because it will, without a doubt, make your clients fall in love with you. Now our first Chime CRM hack is gonna be secret smart plan triggers. Now you probably already know what smart plans are inside of the Chime CRM. They're really good for sending automated texts, automated emails, automated voicemails. Heck, you can even do automated postcards and a ton of really cool other automation inside of your Chime CRM. And if all that's new to you and you have no idea what smart plans are, then you definitely need to stop watching this video, go watch this video, and then come back and watch this video. That's a lot of videos to watch. All right, you good? You all caught up now? Now, as we jump into our Chime smart plans, you know these triggers already exist. We already know like, hey, if they're in a certain pipeline, if a certain group gets added, maybe a different lead source, if they have a property alert, we have all these different triggers for starting our smart plan, which again, are really great for automating our follow-up. But there's a secret trigger that you probably know nothing about, and that is gonna be our reevaluate trigger. Now, you probably don't have this activated down below, I will show you how to get it activated, don't worry. But first I wanna go over what Revaluate it is and why it's really important for automated follow-up. So if you were to go to the Chime Marketplace, you would see a tool called Revaluate. And if you were to click learn more, you would learn that this is a really powerful tool that will show you who is likely to buy or sell inside of your Chime CRM. For example, if we go over to my contacts page, you would see I have this activated right now inside of my Chime CRM where everyone has a Revaluate score. Now again, Revaluate scrapes the internet, it scrapes all of a user's data. So when one of my leads comes in, it's going to search the internet and start to notice behaviors and patterns like, are they using Zillow a lot, which might be a sign of moving? Are they Googling moving companies? These are signs of obviously moving and Revaluate is going to be giving them a score. Now, obviously the lower the score, the less likely they're going to buy, but the higher the score, the more likely they are to buy. And as you can see, they even have green and red arrows showing if the score is going up or going down. Now, inside of our Chime triggers, we have the option to start a smart plan based Based off of a certain score. And what I do is I have a few different plans that get started once they reach a certain point. So if anyone's at least a 70 score out of 95, because the highest you can go is 95, and they're in a nurture pipeline. So this is basically my nurture leads or my cold leads. These are basically just leads I'm not really actively following up. I'm going to start an automation. And what that automation is, is going to be a bunch of postcards. So let's just say this is for our seller leads. So we're going to go ahead and select our seller leads. I want to start sending them postcards. Now I'm gonna create a whole postcard campaign. I actually have a postcard campaign available that goes out and warms up these leads. You can check it out as part of my Chime course. There's a link down below where you can take my free Chime course and learn more about that. Then after a while, once they get a few postcards, maybe they get a few over the first few couple of weeks, I'm then gonna start sending them automated texts and automated emails saying, hey John, this is Tommy Mutchler, Bellingham Realtor, just following up with you to see if you've had any thoughts or interest in selling your house anytime soon, which, which is, is really powerful and a lot more efficient than just calling your entire database. Instead of calling your entire database every single month, I just let Chime with the power of Revaluate determine who are my hottest leads, start sending them postcards, and then start sending them automated texts. And then once they respond, hopefully then book an appointment. So as you can see, this is a really powerful way to not waste any time and really just sit back and let automation find all your hot leads for you. Now for our next hack, I'm going to show you again, another secret trigger that you've probably didn't know about that's really good for never letting leads accidentally fall through the cracks. Let's be real guys, sometimes leads just fall through the cracks. We just forget to follow up with people. Accidents just happen. Now I'm gonna show you a really cool hack to prevent that from ever happening again so you never lose another lead to a competitor. So we're gonna go to our smart plans. We're gonna go ahead and click new smart plan and we're just gonna go ahead and click standard smart plan. And on our triggers, we're gonna go to whenever lead meets specific conditions. And we're gonna scroll down to last touch. Now, for the most part, a lot of this is kind of, this is kind of a useless automation, a useless trigger. However, they do have this option right here called not contacted. So if you have not been in contact with a lead within let's say seven days, now let's go to 45 days. Let's just say you're talking to someone and for some reason, 
in, you just have not been in contact with them within the last 45 days, whether you stop texting them or they stop texting you. And let's just say this is for your hot pipeline, your warm pipeline. We won't do cold or nurture pipelines, but let's just say, hey, we haven't been in contact with them in 45 days. We should probably follow up. Now, this is a really great way to restart the conversation. Now, you can really customize this however you want. You can do it for different pipelines, different scenarios different timelines. You could do 45 days. You could do 60 days. You could do a year. You could do two days if you want. Maybe you're ta actively talking to a lead and they drop the conversation and you just want to say, hey, tomorrow I want to follow up with them automatically. Now, obviously we can do whatever we want. We can do a text message. We can do an email. Let's just say, let's just do a text for example's sake saying, hey, lead name, are you still interested? Or maybe say you don't actually want to do an automated text. You'd rather follow up with them manually. So of course you can just do a manual text instead of an auto text, or you can just click other and just create a note saying follow up with the lead. So again, a really good way to just never let any of your leads fall through the cracks and always follow up with them accordingly. Now, our third hack for automating your Chime CRM and your follow up is going to be conditional logic. Now, if you haven't heard of conditional logic, you should definitely check it out because it can really simplify things and make your life a lot easier and personalize a lot of your follow up in ways that you can't do with other CRMs. So again, let's go ahead and check out a blank smart plan for us right now. And as we go through these smart plans, you'll see there's probably a button here that you might have missed. I know a lot of people miss this right here, but I want to show you this conditional logic where I guess Chime calls it conditional questions. If you were to go ahead and click on this, you're going to get something called an if this, then that statement. The way this work is Chime's going to ask a question. Is this lead insert first time home buyer? But we can select from a lot of different options. One I like to use a lot does, does the lead already have a property alert? Now this is a really powerful one because if they have a property alert, let's just say I want to send them a automated text saying, hey, insert name, how are the homes that I'm sending you? Do they match what you're looking for? Or? Now let's say no, that they don't have a property alert. Now I can send them a text message, of course, saying, hey, you want me to start sending you homes? Or I can actually take you to the next level and do something like enable the AI. Now this is a really fun one because I like to enable suggest listings. So I would say, hey, Mr. AI, let's help the lead with some listing suggestions. So instead of setting a property alert, I'm going to start sending them listings because I already know that they don't have any. So let's go ahead and send them some. Another really good one is, uh, have you been in contact with the lead within the last seven days. Now it's not going to show up here. I don't know why Chime it like cuts off, but if you like hover over it for a second, it's going to show you the full thing. So we selected has been in contact with me within the last week. So last seven days over over it, you can see the full thing. I like this one because if I have been in contact with them, I'm just going to do nothing. I'm just going to say, hey, let's manually follow up with the lead. But if I have not been in contact with them, I'm going to want to send them an automated email. So now it's going to say, hey, uh, I just want to check in, see how things are going. Are there homes you want to see? You can really customize this to, to work in a lot of different ways. Again, there's some other really cool automations like do they have a phone number and their contact info? Because let's just say you get an online lead and they register with an email, but you don't get their phone number. Now you maybe you want to say, hey, if they have a phone number, we're going to send them an auto text. But for some reason, they don't have their phone number. We're going to send them an auto email instead. So you can really customize the follow up based off of a lot of different conditions. All right, now we got two more hacks left. Let's go ahead and jump into hack number four before we jump into our really powerful hack that'll make your leads fall in love with you. And hack number four is going to be custom holidays. So if we're going to go ahead and click on a new smart plan, you're going to see something called reoccurring plans. Now you got a few options here. You got Christmas, you got New Year's, you got Valentine's Day, you got birthdays, close dates, and you got custom fields. Now the cool thing about this is I just love sending like a happy New Year's text, happy 4th of July text, a lot of like holiday texts, just as like a way to stay front of mine and just say like, Hey, happy new year's, John. I hope it's an awesome one. Tommy me the realtor. So like really short, just a quick little touch point just to remind people that I'm there and that, you know, I hope things are going well. Now the problem with chime is you don't have one for every holiday, or maybe you want some for specific holidays. So for example is there's not one for 4th of July. I really want one for 4th of July. I think 4th of July is really awesome. So you can click on a specific date 
click start and you can either set it to go on a fixed date or a recurring date. Now we want a fixed date. Now we can either schedule this to go out one time on a fixed date or we can schedule this to go out every single year. Now I want this to go out every single year and I want it to go out on July 4th because this is going to be our 4th of July and I don't want it to end. You could have it end after a certain cycle but you don't need it to. Uh, this is also really powerful if you want to do like some like webinars for like the next week. Let's just say we're doing webinars every Thursday. You know you can do like a weekly webinar and you want to send out a reminder on Wednesday for our Thursday webinar and you could just have it end after five cycles or something like that. So you can do some really cool stuff here. But for this, we're going to do our 4th of July. We're going to go ahead and set this to July 4th and it's not going to end after another cycle. And we're just going to send out a really simple text saying happy America day, first name, maybe add some emojis, add some fireworks. Let's say, let's add something funny like I hope it's a last firework reference right there and then we'll just do call me the realtor obviously if you don't know this by the way you can like if you want to send this out to like on a bunch of like your agents behalf so let's say you're a team later this would be a team plan and you can also say let's do agent variable and i want to make this agent first name so you can do that just so you are aware if you want to send this out on your agent's behalf now if you do send this out just know you're going to get a lot of text messages back saying hey happy fourth happy fourth happy fourth hope all is well a lot of people are very polite i actually really like this text message a lot it is going to blow your phone up but you are going to get a lot of uh positive responses back and I think it builds good rapport with people so would highly recommend this automation. Now before we jump into our last hack for automation which is honestly the best automation hack out there when it comes to building rapport and building relationships with people I wanted to let you know that I have a free Chime CRM course where I show you step by step how to set up your Chime CRM just like me to fully automate your entire Chime CRM so you never have to follow up again I even give you free smart plans with this course so check that out down below or you can visit lazyagent.com to learn more and sign up. Now, this next automation hack I'm gonna show you is our happy birthday gift card automation. It's actually really, really cool, really, really powerful. I guarantee you that nobody you know is doing this automation and it is so powerful. Now, as you probably already know, Chime has a birthday trigger inside of their reoccurring plan. Now, this is nothing new and this is not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about sending a happy birthday email, a happy birthday text. I'm not even saying you should send a happy birthday postcard because obviously Chime could do postcards and letters. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what we're getting at. We're doing something much more powerful that's going to help stand out and, and really create a lot of uh, rapport with your clients and a lot of gratitude. They're really going to love you for this. So we'll go ahead and click on our happy birthday trigger. Now, if you don't know already, you can add happy birthday dates to all of your clients. I'd only recommend doing this for your sphere and your past clients and maybe current clients. I wouldn't use it for any lead because it's going to cost a little bit of money here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to create this automation. So it goes triggers on their birthday and we're going to go ahead and just fill this out happy birthday gift apparently i can't type but we'll fix that and it's going to be for all lead types we're going to have a recurring special date obviously our birthday we don't want it to end up after any other cycles we're going to go ahead and get this set up and i want this to be only for all my closed clients and my sphere so any past clients and my sphere and that is it now you don't have to select this you can auto select whatever you want if you want to say hey, I just want my sphere or I just want my close clients. You can do whatever you want. Does not matter to me. This is just how I'm recommending setting it up right now. And for our trigger here, we're going to actually select five days before the birthday. So I want this to start five days before the birthday. And you're going to see why here. And for our automation, we're going to select Zapier. Now, if you don't know what Zapier is, it's a game changer. Like you got to check this tool out. It is so stinking powerful. Zapier is really, really cool. Basically, it lets you automate anything. It basically just ties one piece of software to another and we're going to go ahead and select that and we're going to say birthday gift and we're going to select this code and just hit copy so you don't have to click on anything just click copy and what we're going to do is we're going to send that over to zapier and if you don't know how to use zapier there's a ton of really cool tutorials on it i don't have time to show you today on how to set that up i do have it in part of our chime course so again you want to check that out we got that free course down below that you can check out but what's going to happen is we're going to trigger a zap inside of zapier which we're going to connect then to a software called in written lead now Handwrittenly is a really cool tool that'll send out handwritten cards, handwritten notes, handwritten addresses, handwritten return addresses, everything. They got a ton of different cards, a ton of different styles, really, really cool stuff. It's gonna send a handwritten happy birthday card. And I'm gonna show you how to like really like change this and like make this super, super cool here in a second. But you can send a, a handwritten card for like $3 and like 25 cents or $3.75 with plus postage. This is really, really cheap. This is really, really cool. A great way to send a personal touch. 
Now I want to show you how to make this even better. Again, it doesn't cost really much. You're doing like, you're not even going to do 25 cards a month. Like it's not going to cost that much. And you can use this for anything. Like you can send out home anniversary cards. You can send out a ton of really cool stuff here. But I want to show you this secret link down below at the bottom of the website called gift cards. What I like to do for my clients is I like to send them a handwritten card with a gift card is something that I think they'll like. Now I like to either do Starbucks or Home Depot. I would do like Cheesecake Factory or something really fancy. I would definitely do Cheesecake Factory, but we don't have Cheesecake Factories in my city. We do a few cities over, but that's like an hour away. That's just too far for people to drive. So I do either Home Depot or Starbucks. Of course, if they're women, I don't know how to like identify if they're a, a woman or not, but if they're a woman, I would give them like a Target gift card if they were a man. I might do like Grubhub or Cheesecake Factory or Home Depot, but I usually do Starbucks or Home Depot. Starbucks is kind of for everyone, a little, maybe a little more feminine because usually women go to Starbucks and then men are usually more of a Home Depot guy. However, because you're a realtor and it's like, this is house related stuff. I think Home Depot is a really good one and that's the one I use a lot, but you can use any of these. And there are other services that have more gift cards. The prices vary. I just really like handwritten. I feel like they do a really good job. And basically you connect to with Zapier and it's going to send these cards out. So for like 15 bucks, 16 bucks, you're going to be able to send them a $10 gift card, $25 gift card, however much you want to do. And with a happy birthday note, and you did literally nothing. It's going to cost you more time to do this manually. And the fact that you can do it automatically is really, really cool. And it's going to build a lot of rapport with people. All right, now, if you enjoyed this video, you're definitely gonna wanna check out this video right here, where I show you how to automate all of your blog content completely automatically with photos. It actually will rank in Google search and you're gonna get free leads from it. Really, really cool stuff. So definitely check out this video right here. Also, make sure you check out our free Chime CRM course. With that said, my name's Tommy Mutchler, your lazy agent, and I will see you in the next one.